Hello students and welcome to the Year 11 Chemistry course, the first module, Properties and Structures of Matter. And in this particular video, we're going to have a bit of a look at gravimetric analysis. Now we've conducted a number of different chemical and physical processes um, throughout your entire science experience. Uh, but now we're getting to a point where we need to start to quantify things a little bit more. There's two main methods that we look at when we are trying to analyze different types of uh, substances. The first is qualitative and the second is quantitative. And if you think about quantities being numbers, then that'll give you a bit of an idea about what quantitative analysis is all about. Qualitative, on the other hand, is it feels warmer, it turned yellow, I can see a gas being produced. Each of these observations is a qualitative observation. So it includes things like colour or um, temperature in terms of the feel. Uh, or things like uh, we see bubbles. If we are um, weighing to find the mass, uh, if we're measuring volumes, which we can do with gases as well as liquids, um, then we have a quantitative measure. And quantitative measures is part of what gravimetric analysis is about. And if you look at the other part of that term, gravimetric, then hopefully what you realize is that this is an analytical method analytical based on mass. So effectively what we're doing is we are going to try and analyze a particular mixture by working out the components of the mixture based on their relative mass. Now what this means is if we have something like a sample of salt water and we're going to be doing an investigation uh, based on some of the uh, beach water around our local area, then what we can do is look at the amount of salt compared to the water. And if we have a sample of water, which is say one litre of water, which is equivalent to one kilogram, because the density of water is one um, kilogram per litre or one gram per mil, um, then if we look at salt and say the salt, um, to just pick a, a very high value, but a simple one, um, was 100 grams, then we would we'll have 100 to 1,000 or 1 to 10, and that is a 10% salt solution. And that's based on mass, comparisons of the mass. Why would chemists want to use this? Well, there's a couple of areas where this is really useful for chemists, particularly in um, the mining industry, where certain types of substances, particularly ores, uh, which often have very valuable substances like particular metals in them, um, they may take some extraction, for both removing from the ground and then separating the uh, metal from the other components. And all of that is going to be an expensive exercise. So being able to work out how much you can actually extract from a particular ore deposit can give um, miners in particular uh, a good idea about exactly whether or not that's going to be economically viable, economically worth their while. Gravimetric analysis is also useful when we're looking at um, particular pollutant chemicals. So sometimes that might be in um, solution in water, where occasionally we may look at concentrations, and this comes into another area. But if we were to evaporate the water and to uh, look at the total dissolved solids that were present, then we may be able to get an example of a gravimetric analysis that way. Of course, if the particular uh, material that's polluting the water is not uh, soluble or insoluble, then filtration may be a simple method for just um, separating that solid material, again drying and weighing to get a percentage. It's also useful in the food industries where manufacturers sometimes claim certain um, products might be fat free, salt free, and we can actually use gravimetric analysis to check the chemical composition. Hopefully in class you'll have an opportunity to carry out a gravimetric analysis and use these different techniques in order to work out the actual percentages or ratios uh, of the components of a mixture based on their mass. Thanks for watching.